Hi, this is Frank Schaefer, and you are in my studio where I have been working on a new series of paintings of objects falling from the sky. And some of these have absurdist titles uh, about fundamentalism and other crazy things, but the objects in the painting come from my own life. My old teddy bear. My uh, paints that are developing in this new picture here where I'm starting to put together the canvas. And uh, in this painting here of uh, my daughter's old teddy bear named George, down at the bottom here, I have a piece of paper falling from the sky that's been scribbled on by children, in this case, my own grandchildren. And of course, uh, where would I be without a bottle of champagne coming out of the sky with a glass or my old uh, Pinocchio's? representative of Donald Trump and his many lies. But I want to pause and just say that the point of all this is not to make a political statement. The point of all this is not just simply to talk about things that bother me with the present administration and its many failures and inhumanities, <clears throat> but to reaffirm a very basic idea, and that is that I believe in the intrinsic worth of beauty. I don't oppose Donald Trump because of politics. I oppose him because of the ugliness of his philosophy of leaving people behind while the rich get richer. You know, we live in an insane culture, and I'm afraid we've all been touched by this. The way we depend on high-tech interference in the rhythm of our lives while debasing communities around us, the way we have put career ahead of family, the way corporate America's philosophy now dominates so much of what we do and has appropriated, for instance, feminism or the movement for male empowerment or even the alt-right, all folded into this kind of corporate vision of priorities, which always leaves the rest of us more spiritually bankrupt and poor while enriching the very rich by making us all ch chase the consumerism and the, the, shall we say, hubris of life where we're grandstanding on title. You know, people ask me, what do you do? And I know they're expecting me to talk about being a writer, a novelist of books like Portofino, or my new book, Why I'm an Atheist Who Believes in God, or that I'm painting and putting together a new show now. But what I really do is representative in this small part of this painting here, where Lucy, my granddaughter, who's eight, and Jack, uh, sign their names on this piece of paper falling from the sky with a rubber stamp, by the way, in the picture uh, that has a saying of Voltaire, the philosopher in it, which kind of is my answer to fundamentalism. And here's the actual stamp I used. I, I painted something different because this doesn't look very nice, but it says, those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Boy, doesn't that apply to the Trump administration? But it also applies to the idea that somehow career or education or grasping to get ahead comes ahead of family relationships. You know, I was lucky. I got my girlfriend, Jeannie, pregnant when we were 17 and 18, and that's not the way you're supposed to do it. But we are here almost 50 years later, and while I wouldn't recommend that to my grandchildren, at least it put me onto a path of warmth and human relationship and love and life instead of career and money. You know, I'd never trade another master's degree or a PhD or anything like that for a grandchild. I would never trade a swankier house for more time with my family. We have to get our priorities straight again. If we're going to fight Trump, it's through offering a solution of a more humane view of life than the bullshit of gold-plated Trump Tower. What's most valuable to me in this room are these little mementos that my grandchildren make me. What's most valuable to me on the painting over here I'm making is that they've signed off on parts of it. We have to reestablish the human community in our hearts and with other people. And those of us who are secularists and have bravely left the religious fundamentalism that I, for instance, was brought up in, have to remember that we don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. You better have somewhere you call community. You better be rooted someplace rather than just drifting. You know, moving house all the time or moving to Florida or whatever the hell we think is a good thing or a next step up isn't necessarily the most important point. From my point of view, the continuity of human relationships are. And that's why I bother to paint these pictures that are about really biography of a life. And I put these titles on them, but the real point is that they represent a commitment 
to a place and a time and a community and a family and what really matters most. And that is ultimately our answer to Donald Trump. Not politics, but humane, humanistic, renaissance and enlightenment values trumping this new fascism that's coming forward. Thank you. My name's Frank Schaefer.